Hi guys, today I want to talk to you about nuclear fusion and nuclear fission. What is nuclear fission? Fission occurs when a heavy nucleus divides into two smaller ones. This is induced by the introduction of a neutron. A neutron has no charge and therefore not deflected by the positively charged protons in the nucleus. Uranium-235 and plutonium-239 are known fissile materials. Uranium-235 so here we can see on the left a neutron uh, enters into the nucleus of the uranium-235. It briefly becomes 236 and then splits apart releasing three more neutrons. Chain reaction. In a critical reaction enough fissile material is brought together to produce a sustained fission or chain reaction. Once a mass goes supercritical all the uranium or plutonium undergoes fission in a matter of microseconds. A nuclear explosion equaling 21,000 tons of TNT occurs. Can we control this reaction? If this fission can be controlled, we can harness the energy to produce electricity. Fission can be controlled by separating the fissile material and placing control rods between the sections. The control rods slow down the neutrons and therefore slowing down the reaction. How do nuclear power stations work? Nuclear power plants use this controlled energy to produce electricity. Heat from the control rods are used to produce steam, which is used to, produ uh, used to turn the turbine generators which produces electricity. So what is nuclear fusion? In nuclear fusion, two nuclei with low mass numbers combine to produce a single nucleus with a high mass number. Sunshine. Inside the high pressure, high temperature core of the sun, isotopes of hydrogen are forced together to become helium, releasing energy as they merge. Abundant energy forever? Scientists around the world are trying to create nuclear fusion power stations that would generate huge amounts of energy that would basically be very clean. The only waste product is helium. However, recreating the conditions in the heart of the sun is very difficult. And here we can see a picture of JET, the Joint European Taurus, which is the largest experimental fusion reactor currently. Okay guys, I hope that was useful. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye for now.